Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 4b of the book, Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 103, and the question is 6. So the first part reads, show in a diagram how to find the actual velocity of a boat given the velocity of the river and the velocity of the boat relative to the river. So what we're given is, let's look at the formula V, boat relative to the river, VBR, is equal to VB minus VR. And these are vectors. So this is just addition of vectors. So let's let's just do this. So we have uh, we want to find the velocity of the boat. So VB is equal to VBR plus VR. So if I draw VBR like this, I draw VR like that. Then of course VB is from you draw of course the the tail of the second on the head of the first. And you draw your resultant from the tail of the first to the head of the second. So it goes from here up to there. And this is V-boat. Alright. Uh, yeah, so that makes sense, of course. That, 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 that makes perfect sense. So the next part of the question. Rest. A boat crosses a river 240 meters wide, which flows parallel to the straight banks with velocity v1 12 i hat with while the velocity of the boat relative to the river is v, v2 and 5, 5 j hat meters per second where v1 and v2 are measured in meters per second find the magnitude of the velocity of the boat and find how long it takes the boat to cross the river and the distances it has to travel downstream in doing so so let's sketch the motion so I'll draw our the y-axis and our x-axis making our xy or Cartesian plane. We're going to draw the vectors that we know. So we know that the the river is 240 meters wide and they will say the current flows parallel to its banks. So I'm going to say it's flowing in the positive i-hat unit vector direction and it's flowing at 12 i-hat. So this is vw, the velocity of the water. Then it says the velocity of the boat relative to the to the water is 5 j hat. No, that's not working there. So 5 j hat. There's that's a v boat relative to the water. Now what of course that I'll speak about what that means in a moment. And we're asked to find out what is the, the, the velocity of the boat. So the first thing we need to do is analyze v b w that's equal to v b minus v w that's it's that's mathematically that, that's quite simple however it means of course that the, the water is stationary all right it's in a frame of reference whereby it is stationary so v b w is when the water is stationary so it's like saying if i want to cross the river it's v b the it's where i want to go if there was no if there was no current, this is where I would set out, the direction I would set out when the water is stationary. So VBW is not actually where the boat goes. VB is where the boat physically goes. So if you were an independent observer, you would see VB. Okay? Whereas the guy in the boat would be, would be trying to do VB, and the river would be trying to do VW. And the overall motion, of course, would be, in this case, that the uh, that the person in the boat would end up drifting and he would drift downstream like so and that would be V boat. So let's plug in the values which we know. We know V B W is equal to zero I hat and is equal to plus five J hat. And we know we don't know what V B is equal to and we take away from that 0 j hat and it is 12 i hat like so and we just we can of course just do a small bit of algebra here so 0 i hat plus 5 j hat is equal to vb minus 12 i hat minus 0 or whatever 0 j hat so we can bring these across and we're going to get 12 i hat plus 5 j hat 12i hat plus 5j hat is equal to vb. Now the question is, does that make sense? And I suggest that it does. Because look, we have plus i hat plus j hat, which puts us in the first quadrant. 
So we have plus plus up here, so it puts us in that quadrant. And look what I suggested up here, that it would be in that quadrant. So that gives us, uh, that, that will say, suggest that we are correct. So we're asked to find the magnitude of the velocity of the boat. So this is the velocity of the boat. So we must find its magnitude, the magnitude of VB, which is equal to its speed. And that's equal to the square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared. And you'll find that is equal to 13 because you get square root 169. Then we're asked to find how long it takes the boat to cross the river and the distance it has travelled downstream in doing so. So the first thing I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say to you is, if you look at the velocity vector of the boat, it means it's going to do 12 units in the i-hat direction for every 5 units in the j-hat direction. But we're actually given the width of the stream, or the, the river, whatever it is, and we're told it's 240 metres wide. Now the only vector, the only velocity vector associated with that j-hat direction is of course your j-hat vector. So in order to do 240 meters j-hat, we need to know we need to have a velocity in the j-hat direction. So what I'm saying is that this i-hat vector is irrelevant. So the distance is 240 divided by the speed 5, and uh, what's that? 20, 40, 48. Is it 48? <laughs> is it 48? You know something. This is terrible. But anyway, so yeah, 48 and that is seconds. Alright, so it takes 48 seconds for it to cross the river. And we're also asked to find how far downstream it will have travelled at this stage. So downstream, of course, is just in the i-hat unit vector direction. So 48 seconds times 12 gives us 576 metres. Alright? Yeah, you can see that there. So let's just check this at the back of the book. 4B question 6. Yeah, the 30 meters per second was correct. Find how long it takes the boat to cross the river. The answer I'm given is 20 seconds. And I said it, it did it in 12. Okay. Sake. Oh, for Christ Almighty. 